Today on Turbo Build, we're turning this into carbon fiber wing end plates. G'day folks and welcome again to another episode of Turbo Build. My name is Brendan. I'm wearing a slightly dirty shirt because we've just been working on the wing, which you probably would have seen the episode for already. However, today we're going to work on this. And you might think, what the hell is that? It's a piece of scribbled on uh, cardboard. And well, yeah, it actually is a piece of scribbled on cardboard. Uh, what it is, is a template for the end plate for the wing. Or the, the end plate? Template for the end plate. Anywho, uh, so what we're going to do is convert this into some uh, carbon fibre. So we're going to get our composite game on today and make some, uh, some wing end plates exactly like this to go on our uh, wing, which is currently sitting over here drying in the 40 degree sun. So it's a pretty warm day today here in Melbourne, but uh, hopefully that's okay for some composite work. Anyway, let's get to work. And that was supposed to go like that, by the way. So first of all, let's talk about the, uh, the shape or the design of this end plate. Uh, fundamentally, I just copied what other people do. Uh, that's what I do with a lot of this stuff. And so I looked at cars like your MCA Hammerhead, uh, the Suzuki under S15, and uh, looked at what they're doing and the sort of designs they're running and uh, made my design similar to theirs. Uh, so that's kind of pretty much where this design came from. I obviously uh, worked with the, uh, the shape of the wing that I've got. I've also allowed for the, uh, the second element, which although I haven't got it at the moment, um, I wanted to allow for it with the end plate if I ever do end up running it. Um, and so the end plate will be a bit big with the single wing element, but um, you know, future proofing, I guess, is the point. Uh, other than that, uh, it's a fairly straightforward thing. We need to now convert this into carbon fiber, and the question is, how do you do that? So what we're going to do is we're going to use carbon fiber twill, which is a fairly light weave that I've got. Um, I've also got some woven fiberglass. We're going to use an epoxy resin, and I've also got some foam. Um, it's fairly thin, thin foam, similar to this. I might use that as a bit of a core. Um, it'll add stiffness and a thickness to the end plate. Um, so maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't. It might be too thick. I'll, uh, I'll think about that when we get to it. So let me show you uh, all the bits that we've got. So first up, I've got this uh, foam core material, which is about five millimeters thick. So it's a little bit thicker than the uh, cardboard template I've got here. Um, but what I'm going to do is effectively trace this shape out onto the foam um, pretty easily be able to cut it with just a knife I think um, so I'll do one flip it upside down and do a second so then I've got two that are more or less identical but mirrored um, from those we will wrap them in I've got some rolls of carbon and fiberglass there and then there's jugs of epoxy resin which will fill the gaps between everything and stick it all together and make it delicious. And then I've got this mirror here, which I've coated in some uh, PVA uh, mold release material so that we can lay down the carbon on there. That'll be uh, a nice smooth surface for it. And uh, it'll give us a nice finish on the end result. Um, and it'll also mean I can lay this, I've got this sheet of aluminium, I'll lay that on top and then weigh it down so everything's nice and squished and sandwiched together. Hopefully they'll give us, give us a reasonably, um, reasonably flat and smooth and shiny result. First off, we'll cut those apart, then we'll cut out some layers of carbon and fiberglass, and then we'll stick it all together and it'll end up on there, sandwiched between that. Then we have our two uh, rough cut end plates. Um, they're more or less identical. So now what we need to do is uh, finish off the edges. Um, so around the corners and things where it's still a bit bit rough. So we'll just neaten those up. All right, so I went over all the edges, uh, rounded them all off with some, just a random bit of sandpaper I found lying around. Um, and then gave everything a bit of a, a chamfer so it's all nice and uh, rounded. Um, I've marked them left and right and the ups because that sort of stuff you forget and you lose track of where things go. And now these. So now I'll take my old template. By the way, that is uh, like 
40 something degree heat over there. The wing is toasting away still from last episode. Um, so next we'll, yeah, I'll take this and the carbon fibers and we'll cut out some layers. I'm thinking maybe two carbon and two fiberglass on either side of the wing. Um, we'll cut them out and see how we go. Had to have a little uh, hiatus while the heat dropped. It's now back down to a slightly better uh, 30 odd degrees rather than 40. Um, so I can continue. And uh, what I've done is I've prepared, prepared, prepared everything. So I've got my epoxies ready to go. They're going to go on that scale there. And then over here, we've got the uh, bits of carbon and fiberglass ready. I've just put some weights down because a little windy and uh, that'll go on our glass. So everything's ready, laid out. I'm just going to do the pour, mix the epoxy, and then start layering up, and hopefully it turns out okay. Now this is uh, five to one. I'm going to need a fair bit. So we'll go with 500, and then 100 of this. Hopefully it'll fit okay in the jug. It's a very full bottle. Let's do some mixing. So it's a new day, the, uh, the end plates have had a little under, I don't know, 18 hours to, uh, so, to sort of cure. Um, I weighed them down with uh, some tools and things just to sort of help keep them nice and smooth and level. Things didn't go perfect, we had sort of rapid reaction from the, uh, the epoxy and even in the tub, which is where it reacts most quickly usually, we got a big chunk like this and I guess that's the thing with epoxy, when it's in a pot. Uh, the chemical reaction is sort of sped up and uh, it creates a lot of heat. You saw smoke coming out of it, really hot, and uh, you end up with these chunks, which I guess I underestimated the effects of the weather. It was a very hot day yesterday, and that sort of amplified the, uh, the results really, fairly quickly. So hopefully this has actually turned out. If it hasn't, we'll probably have to do the whole thing all over again. Um, but I think the weather was just too hot for it. Things just set way too quick. Um, it meant that I had to sort of rush the job and uh, we ended up, I made a second batch just to, uh, to get enough epoxy. And so the second batch, I made it half as much. Even then it was still uh, really hot towards the end and just had to effectively dump it on and hopefully we get a reasonable result. It's not going to be nowhere near as good as I hoped because purely because of the reaction time was so quick. Things became a bit of a mess, but I think maybe we can recover it if, um, if we got enough epoxy all through it reasonably evenly, we should be able to recover. So moment of truth, let's get this stuff off and uh, see how it looks. Well, having uh, cleaned up all the edges and uh, pulling the thing out of our uh, mold, 
Uh, it looks pretty good. It's a nice, clean, uh, reasonably smooth finish. There's a few dry spots around the edges um, here and there, but that's about the worst of it there. Um, and the edges, they're, they're probably the worst part. They're the most disappointing. Some of them are okay, like along here is quite good, but then some of them are all furry, and that's that's just a lack of resin, effectively. Um, I'm pretty happy given the way things performed while we were, or the way things went out while we were laying it up. So um, it's really, it's got a really nice uh, solid feel to it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is go over it again with some resin just around the edges to uh, sort of dry them up or harden them up. We'll just use a little bit. Thankfully the weather's much cooler today. So we won't end up with this sort of thing again. Um, and we won't need to use as much. We only need a little bit. Just enough to uh, get these edges all nice and sturdy and then we'll be able to sort of finish it off good and nice final sand and that's pretty much it. They really are, yeah, they're, they're fairly thick but uh, really sturdy. I'm gonna, I'm, I have no issues. I can stand on that no problem. Um, let me show you. Okay. Like so. And... Pretty stiff, stiff enough to hold 80 odd kilos. So it's been another day uh, since this is now dried around the edges and uh, it's really stiffened things up and got rid gotten rid of those sort of dirty furry bits. Anyway, that's it for this video. Next time, we'll clean up the end plates, drill them for mounting, and see how they fit up on the wing. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.